Welcome back to Tom and Sense everyone. Today what I wanted to talk to you was about the importance of studying the books that you are reading and why this is very important. One of the worst self-improvement mistakes that I have seen personally and I am guilty as charged of this was reading a lot of books, trying to gain a lot of information and then not really applying or studying. So wait till the end of the video and I will tell you exactly how I do this with by using by using an example from one of the books that I actually did study and it has brought a lot of value to the way that I look at reading books now. Where I learned this was from reading the Bible. The Bible is not meant to just be read once and then put down. The Bible is meant to be read and studied and looked into and cross-referenced with something else. It's a never-ending study. And so if you can apply that to the way that you read regular books by authors and everything else, you will gain much more of an appreciation. So a lot of people, and like I said, I was guilty of this. I would read a lot, look for the nugget, and that was it but not dive into what the author was really talking about. And reading Darren Hardy's book. Now mention in the comments below which book you think this is from, but he talks about the ability to be able to study a book because reading is just not enough. You need to study and then you need to apply. A lot of people that just read books would say, and I was guilty of this as well, knowledge is power. But knowledge is not power anymore because everyone's got Google these days. They can Google the book and all the stuff. It's knowledge applied that is the power. And applying that knowledge is by studying, by diving in, by researching, by cross-referencing, all of those things. So in the example I'm going to set out, I read Evangelpreneur. And the other thing I did was I got the audiobook. Now you, you're probably thinking, why would you get the audiobook if you already have the book itself? I got the book so I could highlight key phrases, things that stood out to me, and the audiobook so that when I go for long drives, I've read this book now, including the audio, at least 15 to 20 times. And it was a book that really changed the way I look at finances as a Christian and the way that I apply my craft as a Christian. In Evangelpreneur, there are five chapters. Each chapter is very important in the progression of how you become an Evangelpreneur. In chapter one, Josh Tolley starts talking about the importance of becoming an entrepreneur and why it is a good fit for a lot of Christians. And that's where you can relate to how you as a Christian can become an entrepreneur if it's a right fit for you. In the second chapter, part two, he talks about don't believe the lies. And one of the lies is that it takes a lot of time and a lot of money to be wealthy or to be rich. If you start diving in, you can start to understand how this could apply to your life. Part three, chapter three, is called doing business. And in this chapter, Josh Tolley starts talking about action steps. And there's actually action steps at the end of each chapter. This is why it's important to be able to study is because you need to apply this. This takes time. This isn't a, a sit down and like, oh yeah, that sounds great. It's really good. No, this actions, these action steps are really important. Chapter four is about doing life. Being an entrepreneur and an evangelpreneur applies to daily living. Part five is doing church talking about how you as an entrepreneur or evangelpreneur can benefit the growth of the church. Not just your local church, but the church as a whole in, in the, all of the world and how those principles in the first four chapters and the first four parts apply to now being able to use that effectively for the growth of the kingdom here on earth. One of the key elements in this book is vertical alignment. A very important step in the book where Josh Tolley starts talking about how the vertical alignment needs to be set up and this takes time. This isn't a one like a five minute thing. This is you you literally got to put the book down. You got to 
and you got to start thinking. You got to start prepping. You got to start uh, talking to your spouse if you have one, and start applying these things. And that is the difference between just reading and then studying. So study reading is a quick thing, and then it's done. You got some key takeaways, and normally what ends up happening is you'll forget a lot of those principles because you'll be just on to the next book. But if you study the book, you'll be able to remember the book. Going back to the first example I gave, where the how you study the Bible, dig into the verses, you talk to other people about it. The Bible is meant to be read like that. It's meant to be read out loud and it's meant to be studied. Let me know how you read. Let me know if you study books. For me, uh, on my growth journey, I've always just read as many books as I could, but until I started to study, I couldn't really apply them to my daily life. Let me know some other things that you would recommend in the way that you study. Just so everybody's aware, Tom and Sense is now at over a thousand subscribers. So, right? That's awesome. And the only thing that we are missing to be monetized is the watch hours. Now, I know that's a very tough thing to do. Uh, I want to keep growing here. I want to bring continue to bring value. And so we are going to do a live stream and this live stream is going to work. I'm sitting down with a guy that's great and he's going to set me up to make sure that we got audio and visual this time around. And again, I will be bringing my wife, who's a photographer, on to this first or I guess second live stream that's going to work this time. And we're going to discuss how she started in business, why she started in business, what she's excited about, and all of these other things. So I hope you guys can catch that. And I will most likely during the week sometime just send out a, a notification just to let you guys know when it's going to be happening. Look forward to the next week or so. And remember, common sense, because common sense isn't so common.